Hey guys, this is my Richard Videos. Well, we're doing a different kind of project. Uh, excuse me, I'm actually waiting for the weather to uh, warm up a little bit because I'm going to start turning peaches today. And it's just about zero Celsius, so it's kind of kind of cold to be pruning for me anyway. But what you see in front of you is cedars. And your junipers. Um, in front of my yard here, I, ha I basically have a cement block fence around my around my around around the farmhouse, and there's cherry trees there now. But eventually, eventually, I, I want to rip out the cherry trees, and then have the cedars will grow up right and have a nice hedge to give me some privacy around my house because um, we're so close to the main highway here. Uh, all the kids look in all the time and don't have much privacy, and I can't really enjoy my garden, my front yard properly because. Look, he lose, right? So, anyways, I decided I was watching. Um, shout out to uh, Mike McGordy, uh, Mike's uh, backyard nursery. I've been really checking out his videos and paying attention to what he does, and I got the idea to clone my own cedars. You just cuttings, you dip them in uh, root hormone, rooting uh, rooting hormone. I Google it uh, or uh, look on Amazon, whatever. Just a little things you, it's a little powder and you dip your stuff into and you see some of the powder actually here I'll touch it with your bare hands because it's chemical right <clears throat> so it just takes your cuttings and you know rip them apart which is cuttings here and you know you dip in a little bit of water and you dip your cutting in the uh, in the rooting compound and you stick it in dirt and I have to water it now here because they're kind of moist I watered them yesterday so yeah, quite a few here. Uh, the experiment, uh, hopefully it turns out good. Uh, you know, it's the first time I've done this. Um, I've actually grown peaches this way before too, many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> and I actually have some out, out in the orchard there too. We need to go check out and see how those done uh, from previous winter here. So yeah, so these are gonna, these are all sticks here. Uh, just, I just finished planting these just a couple hours ago. And yeah, so I ran out of pots, so I had to use a cooking tin. I punched holes in it so I could drain it. And uh, I don't know, just an experiment. Anyways, see, it didn't didn't cost me anything, really. I mean, just a couple little things of rooting compound and some time and some potting soil. And I just used regular potting soil in there. Got a big bag, I don't know, 50 pound bag for, for I don't know how the hell it was. Pretty cheap. So anyways, but uh, we're going to try some other stuff too. Uh, I ordered some uh, Japanese maples, red Japanese maples, uh, some seeds, but uh, we'll see. They end up might end up being uh, regular maples. <laughs> it's kind of hard to t uh, one of those things. It's kind of hard to say uh, when you order stuff online. The seeds are, you don't, don't you don't always know what the hell you're getting, and you know you can get anything. So we'll see. We'll plant them. We got some boxes here. Got to drill some holes in here and cover this with dirt. And then we're going to uh, put the Japanese maples in these and see how those go. But I started this here out, started this here, and uh, you know, get some sunlight here so it'd be good. And see how it goes. So I got plenty of space there. I know my basement is kind of a mess. Uh, just, <laughs> it's just a basement, you know, whatever. It's uh, just the way it is, just junk everywhere. But anyway, it is what it is. So we're still too cold to be doing any kind of nursery stuff outside. But in here it's fine, and I can always put these plants here in the freezer and, you know, kind of get them out of the way for other things. So I thought I'd just share that with you, uh, you folks. Uh, you know, never hurt, never hurts to try new things. And, uh, you know, you never know. Um, you know, I, I just think I have a green thumb. Kind of, you know, I've been <laughs> growing fruit trees all my life. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that goes with the territory. Yeah, well, I'm cheap too, so, <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, one of these little cedar trees, you go buy the nursery, you're going to pay anywhere from 10 20 maybe $30, $40 for a little tree, right? And you grow it yourself, you save yourself a bunch of money, you learn something new, and you would research it online and or on YouTube or wherever you want, and you learn something new, and you do something, so it doesn't hurt. If you get 50% uh, take... Well, better than the kick in the pants, as my old man used to say. So, uh, yeah, so I just want to hopefully find that interesting. If you like uh, 
the growing of little trees give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah so we'll be getting back to um, pruning peaches pretty quick and I got everything's on the go and you guys will see those things shortly alright this is my Richard videos thanks for watching bye for now